Hi everybody and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. And we're happy to, to be back after a very long layoff for the start again of the NBA season, the resumption of the season, which will be eight games plus the playoffs. So if you're not already a member, please join. You, you will have access to this great VIP club section where it has all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks more successfully. We're going to run down the list of games for July 31st. There's six on tap, and we're going to get started right away here. So if you scroll down through here, you'll see that the first game is the Orlando Magic and the Brooklyn Nets. So you see here that the Magic are averaged down at the moment, and they have won three out of their last six. The Nets are average, and they won uh, four out of their last six. Now, these are also including the um, some scrimmage games here. So if you take away those, you see Orlando is three out of their last five regular season games, and Brooklyn is four out of their last five regular season games. This is very evenly matched. Um, Orlando is 30 and 35 on the season, while the Nets are 30 and 34 on the season. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see here that New Jersey has the edge at plus 22 to plus 13. Head to head for the season, you can also see a different trend though. Uh, look at the Magic have actually won both games by 12 points on January the 6th and then by two points back on February the 24th. If you're considering the over under in this game, you see that Orlando is playing in games trending over the line. And so is New Jersey, so betting the over is a very wise choice in this one. We want to see how stable the two teams have been, how well they're performing according to their um, over underdogs, or excuse me, their, their uh, favorite and uh, not favorite status. You will see here that um, the Magic are at plus 33 and Brooklyn is at plus 13. So the Magic have been considerably more stable, so take that into consideration in this one. Overall, though, I'm expecting a very high-scoring game. I think this will be a, actually a very competitive type contest and very enjoyable to watch. Magic have taken the first two games, like I said before, but this time I expect the Nets to come away with a win in a very tight game. Now we look at Memphis and Portland. See right now, Memphis is averaged down. They are winners of three out of their last five regular season games. Portland is averaged down as well, and they are three and two over their last five. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that pretty close here. Memphis at plus 15, Portland at plus 13. The records for the season coming in, and Portland is at 29 and 37, and Memphis is just a game under 500 at 32 and 33. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that Memphis won the only meeting between these two teams back on February 12th by a seven-point margin as a home favorite. And right now, you can see that Portland is the favorite in this one. If you look at the odds, 1.85, 2.075. If you're considering the over and under, you see that Memphis is playing in games trending under the line. Portland is playing in games trending over the line. So in that scenario, it's best to, to avoid betting the over and under. How stable have the two teams been? Again, taking a look at the volatility oscillator, you can see that Portland is at plus 25 and Memphis is at plus 15. So Portland is performing more consistently with their favorite underdog status. In the end, I think that Memphis will go on to win the game and take a 2 nothing lead in the season series. Let's look at Phoenix and Washington. Here's another matchup with both, in which both teams will struggle make the postseason. The Suns come in at 26 and 39. The Wizards coming in at 24 and 40. You see the Suns are the favorites at with odds of 1.35 to Washington's 3.50. If you look at the power ranking indicator, notice that neither team is ranked very high. You wouldn't expect that with their overall records. Washington is plus nine. Phoenix is at plus five. Phoenix is ice cold up. You can see that they won one out of their last five regular season games. Washington, ice cold down. They have won two out of their last five regular season games. 
head to head. Washington won the first meeting between these two teams. If you look at the score, 140 to 132, a really high scoring contest. If you look at the uh, totals predictor over under, you can see that Phoenix is playing in the games trending over, as well as Washington, comparing the red line to the blue line. So, again, this is probably going to be a very high scoring game between these two teams. How stable have they? The two teams been? Have they been, have they been very consistent with their favorite underdog stats? Well, you can see that Washington has been. Phoenix, not so much. So take that into consideration when placing your bet. And because of that, partially because of that, um, Phoenix has not been as consistent. Um, Washington has, so they're actually losing when they're the underdog consistently. And they are the underdog. But even because of that, though, I don't think that it'll turn out that way in this one. I actually think that Washington will come away with a victory. So it should be an entertaining game. Now, the game of the day, the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Celtics enter with a 43-21 record. The Bucks have the best record in the NBA at 53-12. The teams have split the previous two meetings between them this season. If you take a look at this, both of teams winning at home, Boston by 11 and Milwaukee by 5. Boston, ice cold down at the moment. They were 2-3 and three over the last five. Milwaukee, average status at the moment. Two and three also over their last five. Power rankings indicator, as expected, both teams are near the top. Milwaukee at plus 27, Boston at plus 24, so a slight edge there for the Bucks. If you're looking at the over-under possibilities for this one, Boston is playing in games trending over the line. Milwaukee is playing in games trending well under the line. You probably maybe not bet the over-under on this, but if you want to take a gamble on it, Probably play the under because Milwaukee has just been shutting teams down with their defense. If you want to see how stable two teams are, not surprisingly, you will see here that Milwaukee is at the top at plus 45. They have been extremely consistent all year long. And Boston is pretty consistent as well at plus 22. But in this case here, with Milwaukee being the favorite, uh... Boston should continue their trend to be consistent according to their favorite underdog stats, and they will likely lose the game, but should be competitive. Next, we look at the Sacramento Kings and the San Antonio Spurs. You see here the Kings are averaged down. They are winners of three out of their last five. San Antonio is ice cold down. They are winners of two out of their last five. In the power ranking indicator, you can see the teams are dead even here. At plus 11. And it's not much of a surprise because the teams are also very nearly identical in uh, record. The Kings are 28 and 36. The Spurs are just a half game behind at 27 and 36. Head to head, not surprisingly either, is that the teams have split the two games. San Antonio won by a point in overtime at home, and the Kings won by a blowout, actually 20, back on February the 8th at home. If you're looking for the over and under on this one, Sacramento is playing in the games trending over, as is San Antonio. So it looks like this is a pretty good chance to bet the over and win some money on that bet. How stable are the two teams? Take a look at the volatility oscillator here. And under the volatility oscillator, and not again, surprising, is that both teams are dead even at plus 13. If you look here, there you go, plus 13, plus 13. So I think that this is going to be a Spurs win. Even though the Kings are a slight favorite, you just get the feeling that the Spurs will take this one. But don't be surprised if it goes to overtime. And the final game of the day is the Houston Rockets and the Dallas Mavericks. You see Houston is dead status. They had just won one out of their last five. The Mavericks are burning hot there. Winners of three out of their last five regular season games. These are two Western Conference playoffs teams going at it, though, so this should be a good game, too. Probably the second best game of the day. Houston is coming in at 40 and 24. Dallas is coming in at 40 and 27. On the power ranking indicator, you see that there's a slight 18 17 edge for uh, Houston. You can see that uh, head to head, look at this, and notice that. The teams have split. Dallas winning by 14 on the road. Houston winning by 7 at home. If you're considering the over and under, like we always do for this, 
Notice that Houston is trending in games playing under the line, and so is Dallas. So because of that, the under is the better bet for this one. You want to see how stable the two teams are before placing your final bet? Eh, it's not going to help you much because both teams are relatively stable at plus 14 to plus 12. So what do we think here? I think uh, the Rockets will probably come out on top on this one, even though that they are a only a slight favorite and they haven't been playing as well. I think they'll come away with the, the win and take a 2-1 to one season series lead between the teams. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the day. And again, if you're not already a member, please join up so you can have access to the VIP club section. So enjoy the games. It's great to have basketball back, and we will see you next time.